Hi, this is Coach Callie, and I am coming to you as a lifestyle coach for the Change Your Lifestyle, Change Your Life Type 2 Diabetes Prevention Program. And this is a four part series that is going to teach you the basics of how to juice. So today I wanted to talk about why you want to juice in the first place. So whole foods are so critically important to our overall health. If you want to know how to fight off disease, how to fight off those aches and pains, and how to lose a little bit of weight, all you have to do is look to your food. Find out, figure out what it is that you're eating. Are you eating more whole foods like bananas and apples and oranges and we've got some collards here, we've got carrots and avocado for your healthy fat. We've even got um, the herbs like ginger and basil. Are you consuming those kind of foods or are you consuming lots of processed food? And if you are, then you want to get more of the good stuff and take away some of the bad stuff so you can kind of have some balance in your life when it comes to food. The other thing is food is so healing. It is naturally healing. It heals not only what's ailing you on the inside, but it also can heal your spirit and your mind. So that's another reason why we talk about juicing because juicing is so great because you're going to get all these wonderful nutrients in its rarest form. We're not cooking out the nutrients in it by you know cooking like our collars for five hours like we used to do back in the day or some of us still do probably right um, and so we're gonna juice all these things raw so I'm just gonna give you a few tips because again this is a four-part series so the tip number one is you want to make sure that you buy your food either organic or locally grown because we want to have uh, the least pesticides or the least chemicals in your produce as you prepare to juice you can use some natural cleaning cleaner to juice. You can use apple cider vinegar. You can use um, and put it in a, in a big tub of water, and then you're going to rinse your produce that way. And then I also have our handy dandy mason jar, which you can use to store your juice in. So that's a couple things that we want to um, just share with you for today. So you want to make sure that you have whole food. You want to use. Um, pesticide free so look up you can google this the clean 15 and the dirty dozen so anything that's on the dirty dozen list you want to make sure you buy that locally grown or organic and then when we come back the next time we'll talk more about you know the actual how to juice what types of juicers you want to purchase and then also some of the health benefits as well so thank you for joining me and again this is coach Callie coming to you from the change your lifestyle change your life program and I hope to see you soon bye